this is the first time we're saying about him. So we're breaking it at the seventh show. So this is the first time we're saying. <laughs> so we're here at Four Points Sheraton, just across the road from RAC Arena. And we got the squad of uh, all the people, all the volunteers uh, involved. Um, we're having some breakfast, it's 6.41 in the morning. Gates don't open till nine for the VIPs and uh, 10 for the general admission. So we're here with my sister. Did I get you involved in this or did you get involved in this yourself? Technically you involved me. I'll take credit. And, and what's on your feet today? Uh, some lows, Sneakerland colors, of course. Uh, and I've got my name engraved on them. And what's your dream shoe? Triple black Jordan 4s. Ooh. Do you know what these ones are? Ooh. Ex-Nike employee, she should know. Oh, I don't know. Start with the basics. Colorway? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Royals, the Jordan Royals. 1 Royals. I was going to say Royals. Dream collab for you, go. Uh, and one off. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. So, if Cristiano Dior came up to you, you'd be like, nah, one off. Nah, Christian Dior. <laughs> We've got another media enthusiast. What are you? I'm a photographer today. And what is your best gig you've had so far? Uh, AFL Grand Final, for sure. Amazing, amazing. And uh, tell me about your uh, shoes. Uh, so these ones here are the Raekwon Diodorus. They are one of 800 in the world. Apparently 10 pairs in Australia. One pair in my size. And they're on my feet. And how much uh, did you cop them for? I uh, copped them for retail but they also costed me a day and a half of my life in uh, waiting in line. So you camped out? Yeah, sleep on the pavement. I kind of miss those days of, of lining up in sneakers. Same, same. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where we originally met each other yeah. and a few of the vendors today, that, that's where I met them in, in lines for sneakers and it's amazing to see everyone come up and, and what they're doing now, it's, it's really good to see. If someone came up to you today and said, I want those right now, what would you be willing to uh, say yes to? I find it hard to sell off any of my sneakers because of the... Um, Every man has their price. But I haven't figured that out yet. I go, I go up to you right now and go 10 grand cash, bang, would you? Gone. <laughs> That's his price. <laughs> so Flora, what brings you to Sneakerland today? Uh, here with Revo Fitness, so we're sponsoring the event. We've got a plank challenge, so Ooh. if you can plank the longest, you can win a pretty pretty unique pair of sneakers. White, red, and black Jordan 1. So you got some shoes on yourself. You've got the, uh, what is it, the new triple black Ultra Boost? Yes, they are. you got a good eye. Do you have a dream pair that you've always wanted? Probably these ones. I have three black Ultra Boost pairs. Same. <laughs> I just same. collect black Ultra Boost. Yeah, same. That's, that's my main pair that I wear. It's awesome. Um, how many gyms are there? Uh, how many Revo Fitnesses are there in WA? Uh, 16 at the moment, but keep your eyes peeled because there's always more popping up. And it's less than $10 a week for membership with no lock-in contracts, no funny business. It's just straight up. Something that should have existed years ago. But here we are, Revo Fitness coming in clutch. Um, You've been a sneaker collector for a while? Yeah, for a while, because of my dad. Yeah, shout outs to dad, getting him into it. It's a good culture to be in. And do you drip that at school? No, I, d I just bought my, my oh. dad's shoes off him. You bought your dad's shoes? Do you have the same size shoes? Yeah, size 11 men's. And you're only in year six? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite pair of shoes that you wish you owned? Travis Scott's retros. Classic. Dad, can you come in for this? So tell me about the, uh, the, uh, the fundraiser, the self-made thing. Uh, so, my brother and our family, we run a uh, self-made Indigenous Corporation. We uh, got asked to come down today and chuck up a couple of donation bins. Not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, it's good, good to have the vendors here and it's for a good cause too. Um, tell me about your ultimate favourite pair of shoes that you wish you owned. Probably off-white Jordan 4s. Uh, so these are the Kobe 2 All-Stars. I've had them in closet for, God, probably about six, seven years, something like that, ages, ages ago. Uh, it's back when Kobe was with Adidas, his second shoe. So they're not going to be made anymore. Yeah, they'd, they'd be Adidas. pretty rare. They'd be pretty valuable. Um, but figured, why not? Sneakerland Perth, break out saying that not a lot of people would have seen and put them on feet for today. Yeah, they remind me of the Jordan 18s. Yeah. 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 Everyone calls them the moon boots. <laughs> All right, we're uh, about to show you the main stage, the main arena. Ooh. Yeah. We've got plenty of stalls on the outside, two lanes on the inside, or three really. We've got some stuff at the back. We've got the boys from Camera Electronic. Take a look at all of these shoes set up for Sneakerland. I'm super excited. Um, people can come up and 
touch the shoe, smell the shoe, maybe even lick the shoe if they let you. But so, Sneakerland, is this your first time? No, it's our second time. We came last year um, and it was a raging success, so we decided to come back. How did you get into it? Uh, my partner, he's been into sneakers for about five, six years. These were my first shoe. No. The Royal Toes. <laughs> now you seem pretty tall. Look at look how tall you are. <laughs> Your ultimate grail, dream shoe, go. Oh, well, it was one of the off-white Jordans, um, but I got that for Christmas last year, so we got to find a new one, I guess. Love it, love it. Thank you so much. Anyway, Best of luck. Thank you. I'm Serena, and come see us at Kicking It Up. We're located in Northbridge, and we're open seven days a week. We've got the Lee Collection here in Perth. You've got the Rolls Royce. You've got the Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> I don't know what the car's called, but it looks pretty cool. The Rolls Royce is more my vibe. It looks like something I would fit into. Maybe I should do a series with Lee Collective and see how which cars I can fit in. And then over here, we have the amazing lowrider, the Impala 64. Her name's Catherine. And then next to her, we have uh, the Porsche RWB. But this is my favorite thing I've seen so far at the event, and that's the bicycle. Check out the bicycle over here. Now this bicycle, it's absolutely insane. It's got a real baller chain steering wheel looking thing. It's got a spare tire on the back of it too. Take a look at that, the spare tire. What sort of stuff are you gonna be doing when uh, you need a spare tire on the back at all times? That's crazy. Ultimate shoe that you would love to own. I'd say probably anything up up, up here on this wall. Uh, what are these ones? These are the Union Gua, uh, sorry, the Union 4s. Uh, it's a crossover with the Union LA brand. This is called the um, Jordan 4 Union Off Noir. So with these ones, how much would I be expecting to pay? Just a little bit over one, so 1.2. 1.2K, not 1.2 mil. That's but that's still a lot, that's still, that's still a lot. So now the soles, are they that color or is that, a, is that part of the design? Part of the design, yeah. part of the design, yeah, 100%. Um, otherwise you can find us on Instagram, just on this banner here as well. So we're here with the, the main man Soul from Wonderlust by Camera Electronic. How are you feeling about today? Yeah, really good, really excited. And uh, you know, we've got some great new gear, scooters, dirt bikes, all electric, drones and everything else, speakers, headphones. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. How long until you start selling your first electric car? Oh, that's a good one. I, I wanna sell a Tesla mobiles when they come out, mate, as well as cars. Hello. And you've got, a, you've got a little arena behind us here with the uh, go-karts, tell me about that. The idea for that is that people can test an electric go-kart. So when people come to Sneakerland, they want to try something new and different, and they check out the Wonderlust store, right behind it is two electric go-karts. Now, you've got some shoes on. You've got the Jordan 11s. Tell me about those. Retro grey, and uh, very happy to have them. Even got a matching pair for my son as well. And what's your ultimate dream pair? Is uh, some Chicago mids, I think I'm chasing. <laughs> All right, let's uh, try the uh, go-karts out. I barely fit into this. <laughs> Buckle up for safety, eh? Eh, okay, I'm in. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh, I just found the handbrake. It doesn't work, I'm too fat. Gotta park up. Take a look at what is on special today. We've got a signed Wildcats jersey with all the boys. We've got some uh, off-white sneakers. I don't know much about these ones, but they're looking pretty snazzy. They're looking pretty special. Here we've got some pretty insane pairs. We've got some Ben and Jerry's uh, Dunks. These are very well sought after. These ones are probably the worth the most amount of money. These shoes here are about whoa, 12, $12,000 or something like that. That's crazy. This is the uh, original, original, original pair of Jordan 1 breads. This right here, OG, OG, OG. Now I think this pair specifically isn't from 1985. It's not old enough. I think that's a 2013 model. Um, but the box looks pretty old, so maybe it is. Just well preserved. Um, oh, these ones, the Jumpman, these are the main attractions. Everybody wants these. These are the uh, Chicago one uh, off-white pair. These fetch for around seven, seven and a half grand brand new. So these will probably fetch uh, a good price at auction. So we've got the Yeezys. This is uh, back when uh, Kanye West was still collabing with Nike. These are more of the basketball shoes. We've got the Jays. Um, I don't know if that's actually signed by him, but I guess it, it would be. I think it is signed box pair of Jordan 5s. 
Some more Supreme merch, some more Yeezys. We've got the Mona Lisa in, in the flesh. Ooh, Louis Vuittons, here we go. Some Louis Vuittons. I actually tried to get a pair of these when they came out because I was like, why not? And finally, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you got some staff members here. Tell me about your shoes. Uh, I'll start with you. Um, these are the Jordan Lucky Greens. Ooh, and why I've... are they so lucky? I'm not sure. Just green. Give me luck. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I just switched up the laces a bit, and that's about it. I love it. What's your ultimate dream pair? I don't know. I have to think about it. <laughs> I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Tell me about your pair. These are very, very popular, these ones. So, yeah, so these ones are the Travis Scott's, uh, the Mockers. I switched up the laces too last night. Um, they had, I had them in black, so I thought I'd just go pink just because I, I like the pink on them. Yeah. Um, these are actually my dream shoes. Hey. Yeah, so when, when, when one off actually opened up, I was like in line for these. Yeah. So, so you got them for retail? No, I think it was like. It was like 1.6. Ooh, 1.6. Yeah, so, uh, I was in crumbs for a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it? Yeah, definitely yeah, for sure. Yeah. And what's, so you got your ultimate pair. Let's get back to you now. Oh, I, I, might, I didn't think of one. <laughs> how long, um, how long have you been here for? Since 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Are you cold? No. Man's not cold. Tell me about, tell me about what you're wearing today. What are those? Foam runners. Foam runners. Uh, the Yeezy what? foam runners? They are. I've got to remember where I won them from. I think I won them from Adidas app. Ooh. I'm not going to pay resale for them. You won them? Yeah, raffles. Did you pay to buy them? I did pay, oh, but yeah. like, I didn't pay nowhere near the resale. Ultimate pair of shoes that you wish you could afford? Either the Shanghai 2 SB Dunks or the Ueno Air Force Ones. So, how long have you been waiting in line for? Uh, 20 minutes around there. Yeah. Are you a hype beast? Yes. No. Yes. How many TNs do you have? None. <laughs> How did you guys get into sneakers? Uh, through Huddy. 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 You're the main guy. You're the oldest guy out of out of everyone. Most experienced. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Who's got the most pair here out of this group? This yeah. Are you rich? Yeah. 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 No. Has anyone tried to step on them? Yeah. All, all of them. All of your homies? Yeah. Did you bash them? No. Why not? I wouldn't bash them. They were stronger than me. I wouldn't bash these kids, but you know, I'll get in jail. But you know. Look at the main man Jamal here. We're about to open. We're about to open, man. Season two. Season two, back to back, and this year is gonna be bigger, so we're ready for that. Let's do it, man. Look at this turnout I for know, the VIPs. I know, it's crazy. I'm very happy for the turnout, and uh, we sold out a VIP, and uh, apparently we have about 4,000 people coming in. Yeah. Uh, not counting the door sale tickets that we're gonna do in the day, so it's gonna be great success today. And how many outfits are you wearing today? You will see that, bro. <laughs> so we've got the RAC local lounge, and uh, there's some extra bits in Sneakerland 2.0 that I want to show you. Check this out. Sneakerland 2.0, they're giving away free tattoos, like a real tattoos. And uh, let's go get one. Sweet, I'm ready. I'm ready for my ass tattoo. Ready for my ass tattoo. We're good? We're good? We're good? Yeah, yeah, ass tattoo. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> What's your tattoo style? Like, is that, is that even a question? Yeah, it's like a mixture of like, I like American traditional and I love like Russian prison tattoos. So I like to like fuse those kind of together. To like have a crack, the classic Ooh. kind of like look, you know what I mean? That's dope. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, sweet. We are out here. How big is this line? It goes all the way around. It's crazy. Let's uh, let's interview some people in the line and see what they're after. So what have we got here? We got some Adidas. Uh, what sort of sneakers are you hoping to cop? Um, maybe some like Nike Air Force. Yeah, the white ones. Yeah. Yeah, the boys. Yeah, the boys. What about yourself, sir? Oh, mate, I'm just bringing the kids hey. here to. See, foam blood. She even knows the names of the sneakers. Tell me a story. Um, I wanted them when we went to Queensland and I wanted them for a long time. We went to Melbourne and we were in Melbourne for half an hour and I bought them. Bad. All right, what about you? What about you? Belugas. Belugas? And yeah. what, is, what is your dream pair of shoes? Jordan 1 Dior's. Oh, <laughs> everybody's, everybody's dream pair. What about you guys? What, what, you, what have you got on your feet? Jordans? Yeah. Do you like shoes? Yeah. Are you going to ask your dad for more shoes? Yeah. Yeah. And what, did, you get her, did you get her into them? Uh, not actually me, her brother. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, I'll leave you to it, I'll get you up there. It's right now, nobody else is here. Let's have a look at when the people are here. This guy, what, what shoes do you have on? Uh, I have a uh, grey fog. 
Maybe I'm Jordan ones. Have you bought a pair yet? No, I haven't bought a pair. Yeah, yeah. No. What do you got on? Um, grey um, Air Max 90s. Air Max 90s. And what about you, sir? Oh, I've got some low uh, low riders, mate. I forgot the, they're so good. The Nike lows. Yeah, lows. That's it, man. What's in What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? We can't show what's in the bag oh. just yet, but um, something special. Yeah. And what's on your feet today? I got the LA Chicago Jordan ones. They're turning into Chicago's. They used to be LA. Um, I had them for a while, but I like to beat them up. You know, bring the color out. What's your favorite color shoe? Black and white. Black and white. Yeah, I like white. White, white crepes to be fair. And uh, who's your favorite basketball player? Paul George. Paul George. PG, yeah. PG 13. Yeah, yeah. Who you got for the finals? Boston. Boston. Yeah, yeah, they got that. The first raffle ticket is uh, in your seat number 758. If this is you, make your way up to the stage. We got 158. Harajuku squad. You're here for Tyler, right? Talk about Harajuku. How did you guys get involved? We were mutuals on Instagram and I just hit him up. I was like, hey, can I work with you? I like your brand, like I want to design for you guys. So yeah, that's how I got involved in all this. Um I started dating him like <laughs> No, I was actually I was actually working for him before I started dating for him. Um I do graphic design in uni, so then I got interested through it and like we've been mutual friends for a while, so yeah. And have you met my sister Kiwi? Yeah, no. she's great. She's the one that does all of our patchwork. Oh, her. She, she okay, yeah, that's that's my sister. Oh, yeah, so I'm part good. of the brand too. Okay. Got to get oh, the commission yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about sneaker culture? I think it's amazing. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. Like we had an 11 year old kid come by and I was like, oh, what are you doing here? He's like, I'm thinking about reselling yeah. in like a couple months. I'm like, you're 11. How are you doing this? <laughs> Tell me about these shoes. What the hell? These are the Balenciaga track sneakers. I've had this for a while now. They are super, super, super big. Are they, hum they, are they nice. comfy? Not at all. Wow. Um, what's your ultimate dream pair that you wish you could buy if you had the money? Maybe the Jordan for M&M's. Oh, oh. Yeah. okay. Well, it's all the yeah, way to the top. School, yeah. All right. And, we'll, and what about you? I'm actually not a, like a sneaker person at all. I, like, I don't know the name of them, so... I'll, gi I'll give you time. I'll give you time. <laughs> <laughs> we got Foot Locker here, part of Sneakerland. They're doing a from the logo half court shot competition. So that's gonna be sick. Let's shoot some hoops. Let's have a look. I am not that great at basketball. I played footy. Yeah. And uh, I broke my wrist. So I'm just getting the excuses out of the way before I'm trash. See if we can make one. Oh, that counts, surely. There it is. Oh, what's your name? Reagan. Nice to meet you, man. Oh. Oh, rebound. How good is that? So Howard from Wonderlust by Camera Electronic. And how, how you? What, what's on your feet here? Uh, I got some Kobe's. A and you're a bigger collector than than so. Well, no, we both like our shoes. I'm not sure really who's got more. It doesn't really matter. A, what about you? How many shoes have you got? I've got over 60 pairs. Really? Yeah. How many do you normally wear in one week? Uh, like two or three. I'm not really a big rotator. No. I normally try and match the shoes to what else I'm wearing in my top or something like that. So like last night, I was wearing an orange shirt, so I wore orange Nikes. What's on your feet? I got the off-white Jordan 4 sales. You know how many people ask me about those today that that's their dream shoe? <laughs> how many? Too many. I've, I've, I've actually lost count. How did you get them? Uh, so there was a sneaker reseller on Instagram. Uh, so obviously my size is hard to get, so it's a 12 women's, which is an uncommon size. Uh, I saw him had them up, he had them for two grand, and like they're normally like three and a half to four grand in my size, so I uh, copped them straight away. For two? For two, yeah. $2,000 shoes. Come on in here and have a look at these. $2,000 sales. When did they come out? 2020. That is a solid cop. Did, yet, have a lot of people stopped you and said something about it? Uh, not really today, hey, but like when I was in public, I remember the first time I wore them out, I had like random people on the street just like ask me that real stuff, and I was like... You like that? Yeah, I do, but I kind of get scared. I'm going to roll, you know, if it didn't perth. <laughs> so what brings you to Sneakerland? Honestly, mate, I want to say this. I need the sneaker culture. I haven't never got that much shoes. I don't even know what shoes I'm wearing right now. 
You got the DC somethings. DC something. Exactly. I need, <laughs> I need some new, new style, man. I recently became a comedian and I decided, you know what? Fashion forward. Get fashion. Fashion forward and then make people up. Yeah. I love it. How old are you? Uh, 16. I love it. And what got you into comedy? Uh, your friend David A. Hughes is one of those reasons. David A. A. Hughes. Yeah. Shout out to David A. Hughes. Yeah, the great. goat. I love all comedy. Love making people laugh. Just love it myself. I oh, laugh. All right. What's on your feet? Air Force is great. Air Forces, what about you? Um, we got, uh, I don't know, black and red New Balance 550s. Dad shoes. Dad shoes, yes sir, yes sir. And uh, <laughs> not, not yet, not yet. Some people call me daddy. What's Ooh. your What's your uh, all time favorite pair you wish you could buy? Another black Air Forces. <laughs> what about you? Probably some Space Jams, I can't lie. Yeah. Space Jams. I used to own Space Jams, but that toe box is too, too narrow for me. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And, uh, tell me about 16. So basically we like create a company and all that, so we give in, like creatives, influencers, artists, a platform that like give them the support they need, especially the ones in Perth, to help like showcase the vision, showcase the passion. And showcase everything. their black Air Force exactly. One. Yes, sir. Max, come in, come in. Um, hey, Max, how so are you going? He's the owner of Unlaced Store. Um, I'm one of his workers. Uh, he's been building the business for about six years now. So, uh, mate, what got you into doing this? I um, just always had a passion for sneakers all my life pretty much and like mum bought me a pair of Air Max ones when I was about 11 and it was a mission to try to get her to buy them for me once we got them I was over the moon and you know still to this day I wish I had that pair and it's just grown my love for sneakers more and more each day. When people come up to you and say you're a, you're a reseller, you're a, you're a filthy reseller, what do, you, what do you say to that? At the end of the day, I'm 19, uh, I've got other people working for me so I'm just trying to give people opportunities and something they love as well and it's a big passion of mine. So I'm not too bothered about that. At the start I used to be real upset by things like that but because it's a big passion of mine, I'm not too bothered anymore. Your all-time favourite pair of shoes that it's maybe a little bit too expensive, what would it be? Not, not too expensive, somewhat reasonable. Uh, the Atmos MX ones, and that's the pair I was talking about earlier. Come check out Unlaced Store on the corner of Hay and William Street. So, what brings you to Sneakerland? Um, I like shoes. Same, same, same. And uh, what's on your feet today? Uh, the Travis Scott ones, the Mocha ones. Far out. How did you get them? Uh, for my birthday from my dad. Oh, shout outs to dad. And uh, what about you? What is, what's on your feet? I like them, I like them. It's just after one o'clock, it's flowing. People are buying shoes, communicating, interacting with each other, eating behind me, it's pretty fun. There's no dramas, no chaos. Just everybody having a good time and that's what it's all about. Sneaker culture, it's safe, the parents are involved, the kids are involved with their parents. That's, that, that's what brings it all together, it's awesome. Let's see what the afternoon brings us. What brings you to Sneakerland? Um, just have a good time, you know, spend some time with my mates, buy some few shoes. Buy some free shoes? I mean, buy some shoes. <laughs> and uh, what year are you in? Uh, eight. How long have you been connecting sneakers for? Two years. Are you a hype beast? No. You got a bait jumper on? Yeah. That's hype beast. Is it? Nah, it's all good, it's all good. What's on your feet today? Uh, Jordan 1 Core Purple. How many pairs of sneakers do you have? Personal is like, probably like 10. That's good for a year, eh? That's good for you. Do you have more pairs than your mum? Probably, yeah. yeah. And who funds your sneakers? Myself. Yeah. And what do you do to, to make the money? Resell. Resell in year eight, that's hustle, that's hustle. What's your all-time favorite pair you wish you could buy today? Off-White Fours. That's hype. Yeah, it is. Uh, sales? Yeah. Whoo, you know they're worth about three, four grand, right? Yeah. Would you wear them to school? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> shout out to my family. Shout out to my cousins. And shout out to Sev. Shout out to Sev. How long have you been following me for? Probably like, since like last year. Nice, and what's your favorite video I made? Probably the one when you were at uh, Lock. When you saw those bike boys, yeah. The bikey boys, yeah. Shout out to bike Perth people. You got a moustache as well going. Are you going to grow it like mine? Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Yeah, yeah for yeah. you, yeah, yeah. What if a girl told you she doesn't like the moustache? What do you say to her? I'll say, oh, I'll keep it, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. Yeah. Correct. Sure. Hello. Here's a pen lid. Thanks. My boy Ryan here, one of my best men at my wedding. He couldn't come. The Clovers, the Celtics. He loves the Celtics. The Boss Stone Celtics. For, um, yeah, I love these, eh? So, Scott, yes, mate. you're probably the toughest looking guy here. How do you feel? Tough. <laughs> Ultimate favourite pair of shoes, go. Uh, Royal Ones. I like those. Those are my favourite. And the metallic, black metallic. 
vibes. Oh, look at that. I got royal ones on right now. I did see that. I was actually going to put them on and then saw your video this morning and went, you bastard. <laughs> uh, so my next best blue pair. The Doc Ones. How many pairs do you have? 30 pairs. That's that's honourable. That's honourable. Ryan, Ooh. you did it. How are you? Proxy, good thanks. Yeah, good thanks. Yeah, I'm happy with these. Thank you. Are you going to wear them? Yeah, definitely. Are you going to wear them on uh, Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday. Game four. What are you wearing today? Tell me. Uh, I'm wearing the Halloween dunk. If you had all the money in the world, which pair could you buy? I don't know. I probably wouldn't buy one particular pair. I'd just buy like a heap of different pairs. So you wouldn't get like Dior's to flex? Nah, nah, nah. Love your work. Thank you. What's up? It's your boy Jacob. I'm here with... Sevo. What are your favourite shoes of all time? All time, the Chicago Ones. No, nice. not off-white, just Ones. Next question is, the internet's gone crazy over the new Sketcher slash Travis Scott collab. We just came out probably like a week ago. They're going for like 1500 right now. What are your thoughts on them? For me, Travis Scott, overhyped now, especially yeah. with all the things that happen yeah. in the concert and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you like the shoe, you like the shoe. If you like exactly. the artist, you like the artist. If exactly. it's a collab that you like, then cop it. Thoughts on these? Okay, now this is, this is different. I don't know Very how. Different. I don't know how this would work. This is Enco for fuck's sake. What the fuck? You have been trolled. I was going to say. I was going to say. I was going to say. Yeah. I was like, nah, no, no, sure. no way. The built-in air conditioner. I think for me, I looked at this bit and I'm like, like, what the fuck is that? I was like, that's that was done today. Sneakerland 2.0 in the books. How you boys feeling? Feeling great. Success, record. Bigger and better. PB. Amazing, amazing. Bigger and better than last time. Couldn't be better than this, to be honest. I'm so happy. I just, no words. Sneakerland 3.0. Melbourne. And Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne, we're coming for you. November, stay tuned. Breaking news, breaking news. You coming? Mm -hmm. I won't be there. This is the first time we're saying about Melbourne. So we're breaking it at the Stable Show. So this is the first time we're saying. Oh, yeah. And now we're just going on break, letting it all rest. Break? Nah, man. We're not going on break. Now we're going. Ruffling uh, the Zoom fly signed by Virgil Abloh. Ooh. So yeah, man, there's no break. We're not, there's no break until midnight tonight. <laughs> no All right, love your work, guys. You love your work, love your work. <laughs> See you soon. Follow Sev's Picks on TikTok. And Instagram. And YouTube. <laughs>